All right, going to do an update video here on the case that I had mentioned before about the brother that had the two twin daughters that had been molested by their Baptist pastor. As you can see on screen here, he has been sentenced to 30 years um, in prison. Uh, he's 60 years old. He's not going to be getting out until he's 90. So uh, he's been put away for you know life essentially, and uh, it's, it's a real great answer to prayer. I'm going to show you the video here in just a minute. Um, but it's a neat thing to see the Lord working like this. So let's show you the video here real quickly. Takes a little while to load the thing, so. Um. A former Tri Cities pastor will spend 30 years behind bars. News Channel 11's Allie Hines was in the courtroom today. When David St. John of Bristol pleaded guilty to three counts of child rape and six counts of aggravated sexual battery. This time last year, David St. John was a pastor and worked for the city of Bristol. He turned 60 years old this year and will now spend 30 years behind bars for raping two children under 13 years old. We talked with the prosecutor today after St. John entered his plea. Anytime you've got a, a child victim uh, and a rape of a child, a uh, difficult situation, especially when you've got someone um, who was in a position like Mr. St. John was in. Thursday in a Sullivan County courtroom, David St. John pled guilty to three counts of rape of a child and six counts of aggravated sexual battery. He's not eligible for parole, uh, any sort of release. St. John is the former pastor of the now closed Bible Truth Baptist Church and former employee with the city of Bristol, Tennessee. You have something like this happens and it kind of uh, erodes your confidence in, in public figures and uh, that's why the, you know, the state um, takes a, a hard stance in these type cases and wants to make sure that uh, you know, the public is protected from, from individuals like Mr. St. John. Assistant District Attorney William Harper says family members of the victims are glad the case ended in a plea and that the young victims did not have to testify in a trial. Uh, that was part of the, the process as far as the state was concerned in offering a plea. Uh, in this particular case we wanted to keep the two victims to both children uh, from having to testify and this accomplished that goal and also protected society uh, by giving him a lengthy prison sentence as well. St. John is not set to get out of jail until he is 90 years old. Allie Hines, News Channel 11 in your corner. After serving his sentence, St. John will have to register as a violent sex offender and be placed on community supervision for the rest of his life. So there we go. Um, just want to really thank everybody out there for getting involved in this whole thing. Prayer does work. And uh, it's really neat to see this. That justice has been done. And just uh, just want to give a final warning to people out there that are in these church buildings yet. Um, there's all kinds of problems, stuff that goes on. And for every one of these cases where the guy actually goes to prison, uh, there's probably about 100 cases that... Uh, it's swept under the rug and most children will don't have the guts to tell their parents that something bad happened uh, they they get scared and whatever else and they, and they keep it to themselves so these Babel buildings that they call churches uh, just get away from them.